Not a lot going on throughout the southeast right now. It's when we get into the daytime heating that we start to see the activity around here. Look at that. That's not a tropical system at all. The tropical system that we're looking at is further down to the south, and we're talking about Tropical Storm Ida, which could impact the Gulf as we head into the weekend. We'll be tracking that uh, this weekend. Plus, we're looking at two other clusters of thunderstorms, one here, which has about a 60% chance for development over the next five days, 80% chance with this cluster here. Both will stay out to sea. At least that's the way the models are showing us, what the models are showing us. As far as Ida goes, well, that could pose a threat to any of the Gulf Coast states. So let's take a look at the latest track from the Hurricane Center. This is the latest update. Those winds at 45 miles per hour, so it remains a tropical storm and will likely remain a tropical storm today as it moves over the western portions of Cuba. As it heads into the Gulf, though, it will hit these warm waters and then begin to increase. In fact, could possibly increase to a Category 2 by Sunday morning, possibly a Category 3 before making landfall near New Orleans in Louisiana. That's the way it's forecast right now. Now, this could shift a little bit. You look at the cone of uncertainty, could move a little further to the east, could move a little further to the west. We'll watch that. After it makes landfall, we'll start to shift and move to the east. And so we could see the remnants near our area by Tuesday and Wednesday. That's the time frame right now, but the storm system could slow down, could speed up. And so we'll keep you updated on that. Until then, look for low chances for rain. Now, this afternoon, it's about a 30% chance that we could see an isolated shower, a thunderstorm around. As we head into Saturday, we're going to such off with partly sunny skies by the afternoon. It's only a 20% chance for the rain to be around and we'll do the same as we head into Sunday. Partly sunny skies, about a 20% chance for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. Our rain chance really doesn't increase until we get into next week. And again, early next week is when we could see some of the remnants from uh, what could be a major hurricane. By the time Ida gets over toward us, if it stays on the same track, it'll be mainly a rainmaker for us. 50% chance right now on Tuesday, Wednesday, up to a 70% chance for that rain, and then starts to lower as we head toward the end of the work week.